My name is Robin Wright. I'm a guest curator for the Charles Eden Shaw exhibit. I'm James Hart uh, from Haida Gwaii. I'm a hereditary chief of the uh, Songa Stastis. And I am also an artist, uh, I guess, I'd say, uh, an extension of Charlie's fingers in a, in a sense, because he's my great great grandfather, Charles Eden And I call him Charlie, and I also call him Chinny Charlie, meaning grandfather Charlie. Uh, Chinny Charlie was born uh, quite a way back, 1839, and uh, Charlie seemed to get it. You know, he seemed to, he figured it out, and all his old training brought him to uh, make these wonderful things that we see today in this show. And this is a nice representation of a partial uh, mediums that he was uh, practicing in the wood, uh, ivory, silver, gold, and uh, argillite. So, and he, I think, worked on some bigger totem poles too, but uh, the trade started up and he made a living uh, with his hands doing this artistry. Charles Edenshaw was uh, well known as a great artist even during his own time. Not only is he a famous artist, but he, uh, we can attribute more works of art to his hand than any other 19th century Northwest Coast artist. So that's why this exhibit is so exciting to be able to bring so many of those pieces back together and see the range of what he made um, starting with traditional things that were made for use within the community, and then as the market changed, uh, he knew exactly what would sell, and he adapted his artwork to the market. And so he was a great artist uh, and able to um, satisfy the buyers who were flocking to his door. Each, each piece he did was so wonderful, like the, the detail in there and, and uh, his attention to how the art form should be. And he just applied himself, and uh, because of that, we today, as artists and, and people, look at his stuff and what he accomplished. Uh, we use that as a, a learning tool. Like we go and look at the, all these wonderful pieces and study and study and study, because he did so many fantastic things with our designing, you know, our form lines and how he added to it and created this wonderful flow and feeling to the art form. This was modern art of its era. This was contemporary art. People have been fascinated with his work throughout the 20th century, but never before have this many pieces been brought together and documented both in the book and in the exhibition. Um, allow us to compare these things in the same you know, room or the same exhibit in a way we've never been able to do before. So it's very exciting to assemble them all together and see them all in one place and understand that there are probably many more that we haven't seen that are out there. So it's a great assemblage of some of the best pieces by one of the world's greatest artists. I concur. Uh,